to clarify the title is Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, the anime, a waste of time. I mean, no, uh, uh, kinda, uh, kinda, I, uh, 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 let me, let me break it down. If heroism, over-the-top behavior, slash strategy, and excessive exposition is not your cup of tea, this may very well be equivalent to a fat dose of frog urine. But if you enjoy investing in characters with exuberant personalities, vibrant aesthetics alongside some slapping ass music, and lots of battle cries with machine gun punch sound effects <laughs> then this is far from a waste of time in fact it will be damn near great. Currently, there are five parts of the manga which have been brought to life by David Production. Thank you, David. Supposedly, part six will be arriving sometime in 2021, and I, for one, cannot wait to indulge. But enough small talk. Let me get into the deets. What did I initially think of JoJo's? Well, for me, the moment I watched the first episode of the first season, I tried to escape it. But I couldn't. The next episode, after the next episode, after the next episode, after the next episode, after the next, after the next, after the next. Phantom Blood introduces us to the first Jojo, the OG, Jonathan Joestar. Now, his simple-mindedness and habit to wear his heart on his sleeve made him predictable and cliche, but something about his pure resolve kept pulling me in. The villain of basically the whole show, Dio. His wickedness is so strong that he's mentioned in damn near every part, even when he's not relevant to the story anymore. And I can't forget the true bro, the main man, the loyal homie who follows Jonathan to the end of his days. That's right, my boy, Poco. That's right, that's the man. Right there, Poco, baby, MLG Pro. Now I realize part one might not appeal as much as the other parts to some people. So how about watching a different part first? As much as I like part one and its characters, this is merely a prelude into the rest of the story, and even more unpredictable elements are thrown in as the plot progresses. Compared to the rest of the parts, part one may actually be underwhelming and even boring to some people. I think you're a nut for thinking that, but I get it. However, what I like about JoJo's is, you can start with any part that seems the most appealing, but by the time you finish, you're left wanting to watch the others. Each part is vastly different, yet always seems to embody what the entire show of JoJo's is about. It's all bizarre as fuck. Also, parts 1 and 2 are in the same season, so you might as well just watch both of them. And with part 2, Battle Tendency, there's more plot, more character development, and hella more JoJo. We've got Joseph Joestar, the second JoJo, along with Shiza, a hot mom with a stupid ass name, and some Egyptian male strippers who have a killer soundtrack and album pose. It's, it's too, too much. much. I can't handle it. Mama! A little bit of familial peeping. Nice. Nazi cyborgs. <laughs> and chariot racing make part two one damn interesting journey to be on. Part three, Stardust Crusaders brings even more chaos with the introduction of personas. Wait, that's not right. I, I didn't mean. <laughs> Part 3 Stardust Crusaders brings even more chaos with the introduction of stands, along with our new and third Jojo, Jotaro Kujo, who says he's in high school, but is actually a pro NFL quarterback. I mean, look at this guy. How in the fuck do you expect me to believe he's in high school? We also get a nice reintroduction of Joseph Joestar from Part 2, Horrorship! along with Mohamed Abaduru. 
and a bunch of more characters to add to the Stardust Crusaders. Also, Zawardo! Part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable, brings some mystery to the table. With the introduction of a serial killer whose name literally spoils what he is, and of course more JoJo-type novelty. While all the other parts take place on a broad scale, Diamond is Unbreakable solely focuses on the small town of Morio. Josuke Hagwashoke's... Josuke Higashikata is the fourth Jojo. Something about Tsuke is pronounced Jo in Japanese. I don't know. I'm dumb. Don't ask me about a beats. But I do know he has the absolute worst hair out of all Jojos. More stands. More Jojo. More flamboyant masculinity. Oh yeah. Lastly comes part 5 and our fifth Jojo, Giorno Giovanna, who has some very interesting origins. Being familiar with previous characters will provide some understanding of Giorno and why he is the way he is. Now, in order to do part 5 justice, I'll have to go through some very important characters. First, we have Bruno Bucci. And finally, the villain of JoJo's Part 5, an unrelenting boss of the mafia organization Passion, which spans the entirety of Italy. The boss's identity is unknown even within the Passion organization. And also, he's like, pretty strong. But Giorno and his boy Bruno are looking to rise up and dethrone this fool. Give him his what for. So yeah, is JoJo's a waste of time? Well, I've already started re-watching it again, so I'm gonna say... Yes, 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 yes. But the only reason it's a waste of time is because of how fucking good it is. Everyone's entitled to their opinions, but I fucking love this show. Again, this is a show I think anyone who immerses themselves in a world of imagination would thoroughly enjoy. Hirohiko Araki is embodied within the show through references to Western music and seeing an author incorporating parts of themselves into their creation shows just how much attention they gave it. Very nice, she's a chan. JoJo's is time consuming to watch. Yes, I can agree. Yet for someone like me who has way too much time but not enough social life, finally reaching the end of each part that I've watched, the journey to get there felt special. And now I can confidently reference the fuck out of it. Joseph Joestar can pull Tommy guns out of his ass. Hamon is relevant only until Araki said it's not anymore. Okuyasu has the biggest PP stand but smallest PP brain. I want to keep this video brief, so I'm going to stop stroking the show off. Throw me a sub if you want to check out some future JoJo videos I'll be putting out, and drop a like if you enjoyed. Until then... Arrivederci.